the Nova Blast 3 was a fan favorite. You know, one of the best ones should do it also. It's time. As one of those who we are in love with the Nova Blast 3, you can imagine my excitement when the 4 came out. And as soon as it became available in my area, I had to get them and test them for the channel and for my valued subscribers. So guys, this is the all new S6 Nova Blast 4. And I'm here to show you exactly what these shoes look like and how they feel and fit and what you expect if you are interested in these shoes and want to get them. Hello guys, still your man, Dr. CY, the running dog, and I thank you for tuning in to watch this video. As always, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, once again, I urge you to click the subscribe button. You know, it encourages us, helps the channels to grow, and helps us to continue churning out these reviews for you guys. So let's head straight to these shoes. Like I always do, I like to unlace these shoes, open them up, and so that we can see exactly what these shoes are made of and how they look. Before we go into the details, let's summarize the changes to this new version. Of course, I still got my Nova Blast 3 here. It remains one of my favorite running shoes. One thing that struck me as soon as I brought these shoes out of the box is the difference in the upper. The material of this upper is different from the material in the upper of the Nova Blast 3. If you touch it, this feels rougher and more abrasive and this feels softer and smoother and more silky to touch and to feel. The upper in these shoes is just awesome. That's the word I have to use for it. And, and they also do look and feel tough. And when I put these shoes on the feet and lace them up, they were just one of the best uppers that I have put on my feet. The upper in this is a 10 over 10 for me. And then another thing which is easy to note is that there's a slight increase in the toe box width. If you look at the design of the heel counter in this, you see that this heel counter leans back. You know, so it alleviates pressure from the back of the ankle. In the Nova Blast 3, kind of straight and slightly bent slightly inward. So this actually did slightly impinge on the back of the ankle in the Nova Blast 3. There's an added heel tab to this new version, which I don't really know. This works just fine. There's increased stack height to the fourth version, about 4 millimeters extra. These are 41.5 millimeters in the heel and 33.5 in the forefoot, giving an 8 millimeter heel to toe drop. We know in the Nova Blast 3, they have that 7 millimeters in the heel, 29 in the forefoot, still 8 millimeter heel to toe drop. The midsole in the Nova Blast Trek is the FF Blast Plus, whereas the midsole material in the fourth version is the FF Blast Plus Eco. So this contains more recycled materials. If you touch it, these do feel slightly firmer than the FF Blast Plus in the Nova Blast Trek. The midsole is also less flexible than the midsole in the Nova Blast Trek. Another thing is that the platform in this fourth version is widened, up to 4 millimeters or more. It is quite significant. If you put this on feet and put that on feet, you will notice it immediately because this felt, uh, how will I describe it? Felt like, uh, this felt more voluminous on foot. I think that's the way to describe it. Whereas the Nova Blast 3 felt more sleek. Probably this is going to offer you more stability than the Nova Blast 3. Now, another change, which is a consequence of all these changes, is that the weight in the Nova Blast 4 is increased. In my usual size, US 11 or EU 45, the Nova Blast 3 weighs 270 grams, whereas these weigh 282 grams. So these are 12 grams heavier than the Nova Blast 3. Moving to the rest of the upper of these shoes, we see that there are loads of padding on the collar and the heel counter. Comfort and support around the ankle is top notch due to the degree of padding that you have here. And also the tongue is soft and nicely padded. This is one of the best tongues that I have seen, I must say. You know, when I put it on my feet, they felt like they are caressing the feet. It's so, they felt so good. And of course, it has loads of holes also to improve breathability. You see the wing pattern here that sits in front of the ankle, preventing this tongue from sliding as you run. It has a semi-gusseted tongue. This is a nicely soft and silky stretchy material. So this helps to keep the foot locked in. Together with the increased uh, foam in the upper part here. So there's nice heel lockdown, there's nice midfoot lockdown. So this shoes, the lockdown was also very, very good. This shoes felt very breathable and very comfortable and very supportive. Now moving to the sole of these shoes. Uh, the insole is removable, of course, just like in the third version, but this felt slightly softer and, uh, than in the Nova Blast 3. The outsole pattern, both the design and the material is the same as in the Nova Blast 3. Both of them consist of the A6 high abrasion rubber. Yeah, yeah. Even the thickness of the rubber is also very close. Now, of course, this one has seen lots and lots of miles and it still looks this good. So I also expect lots of miles in Nova Blast 4. If you open the inside and take a good look at it, like I always do, the, of course, this is a premium shoe. And if you look at the finishing, they, I think they are worth the hype. Putting these shoes on feet, the things that are worth noting is that the toe box width is just pretty good, excellent. And this and this upper is soft, molds nicely around the feet, and the lockdown is excellent. 
the sizing now i must mention that these shoes they fit true to size of course this is my usual size us 11 and they fit perfectly if you are interested in them just get your normal size and you will be good i plan to do a half marathon in these shoes over the weekend and then i will dwell more on the performance of these shoes in the next video so far so good i think they are living up to the hype that i expect from the nova blast so guys that's it about the nova blast 4 i hope i've been able to show you exactly what these shoes look like and what to expect if you get them thanks for watching see you in the next video